All right, this video is for Daryl Eves. Daryl Eves inside of Real Estate School asks, so I'm trying to find value in this community so I can get started with investing in real estate. I'll appreciate any help. Hell yeah, Daryl, we're happy you're here, man. Welcome to Real Estate School. Um, the answer to your question, trying to find value in this community so I can get started with investing in real estate is a great question. However, the number one thing that anybody should be doing if they are trying to get started investing in real estate is to start doing the things that real estate investors do every single day. So what would that look like? Well, I'm a real estate investor. I've been at this full time for 10 years. And the main things that I do every single day in my business is so incredibly simple. I talk to sellers. I run appointments with sellers. I go out and I walk properties. I make friends. And ultimately, I make offers to these sellers. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with students over the years that are new to the business or they want to start doing this business, yet they're just not doing these simple, basic activities. There's essentially three pillars that we teach our students that they should be doing on a daily basis. Number one is marketing. If you are not marketing to get sellers on the phone, either they are calling your phone or you are calling their phone, period, you are not going to be able to do anything beyond that. Marketing is the first step. So the first pillar is marketing. Do activities that get your phone ringing or spend time cold calling and ringing other people's phones or knocking on doors, etc. That's pillar one. Pillar two is going out, running appointments, and making lots of offers, all right? You may be doing some marketing, great. If you're not, start doing marketing. If you are doing marketing and you're getting people on the phone or they are calling you, go out and meet them, run appointments. If you're virtual, send someone else or make them an offer over the phone. If you are not making offers, it is impossible to get properties under contract. Think about this for a second. How is somebody going to sell you their home if you're not talking numbers with them? So you must make offers and you must make lots of offers. So pillar number two is make lots of offers. And pillar number three is follow up on those offers. Follow up on, those, on the marketing that you're doing. All right. Most sellers are not going to just take your first offer. Maybe they're asking 100 and you offer 70 and they say, yeah, that's not going to work. You know, the least I could take is 90. Well, you're a little too far apart right there. So what? Follow up with them. Add them to a CRM like ReSimply. Create an automated follow-up or a reminder to follow up with them in a month. When you talk to them in a month, say, hey, we spoke a month ago. Uh, at the time you were asking 100, I offered you 70. You said you couldn't do 70, but you could do 90. Hey, I'm still really interested in this property. I still don't think I can do 90. Is there any wiggle room? Has anything changed? Would you be willing to take any less? Because I'm very happy to pay 70 and I can maybe even come up a little bit to 75, but you must follow up. So the simple answer to this question inside of real estate school is simple. Focus on the activities that real estate investors are doing if you want to become a real estate investor. And if you want to become a successful real estate investor, focus on these three pillars. Do marketing, get people on the phone, make lots and lots of offers, which also includes running appointments and making friends and going out to properties and walking them and, and talking to those sellers. And then pillar number three is follow up. Most people aren't going to like your first offer, but two months later, they may be in a bind and they all of a sudden love that offer. So you must follow up. So I'm happy you're here. Welcome to the community. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Start doing the activities that real estate investors do. All right. Um, one of the things that I always love to talk about with some of my friends, some of my friends who, you know, are looking to, to, start, to start playing instruments. Oh, I really want to learn how to play the piano. I really want to learn how to play the guitar. If you never pick up the guitar, sit down at the piano, you're never going to get good at it. You got to start practicing. Marketing gets you the ability to start practicing. It gets you at bats people on the phone. From there, just go out, make, a, make friends, run appointments, make offers, and then follow up with those offers over time. Hopefully this video helps. Have a great day. Welcome to the community. We're happy you're here, and I'm confident you can do this. This is not that hard. See you soon.